So, I'm here for a 90s kid, and I'm currently sitting here with... Anthony. And... Wade. Wade, nice to meet you guys. And who are you guys cosplaying as? Uh, we're both from the Spyro video games. I'm... Uh, well, he's Spyro. I'm Moneybags. <laughs> so, pretty exciting stuff. And where are we at the moment? Where are we at the moment? Oh, so, uh, we're at Mad Men for... So, Mad Fest Sydney 2019 in the International Convention Centre, Darling Harbour. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I reckon you practice for this. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, awesome. So yeah, that's where we are. And um, we're going to talk about what it means to be part of, you know, a community, part of specifically the cosplay community. Thank you. And I know one of you is probably more of a veteran in the community <laughs> and one of the, one of the people here just is getting started. it, just started. Yeah. So it'd be really interesting to hear, you know, both sides of the story. So. Sorry, what did you say your name was again? Wade. 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 Wade and... Anthony. Wade, Anthony. Okay, and my name's Jaden, by the way, guys. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you. Um, so, Wade, do you want to start and tell us about what it means to be a cosplayer? Look, cosplay means that you can have all of these sorts of interests in pop culture, whether it be a video game, a book, a movie, an original series, etc. Um, this opens up a whole new way to express your appreciation um, and an ongoing love or even a new kind of love um, for any kind of content that you may connect with. So you reckon it's more about the game itself rather than yourself or rather than the community? I, I think so. Uh, well, both. But if we're starting on the content itself, um, so I played Spyro the Dragon when I was a little kid and yep. I've absolutely loved it. And as much as I love playing the game now, even in adulthood, um, this is a way to take that interest and meet other people through it. So that way I'm, you know, I'm not just sitting in my room playing the same game over and over and over. Um, and I even get to add input into something that I've really loved, like this costume, for instance. So I had to like design. It's not just a copy of Spyro yep. the Dragon. Um, but it's a way of keeping the things that I love in my life um, when I'm not playing them. It, it's a whole a different outlet, different kind of expression. Yeah. That's a very important thing. You know, like I do music and it's, you know, expressing, I guess, certain but, you know, moments and stuff you've had, especially during your childhood, yeah. there's a lot of so studies done, what, what, you, what you listen to, at least when you're like 14 and younger, or in, in this case, what you played, is often, you know, what's stuck with you um, now. And, you know, this is just a mode in which you can express that, which is yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. So that's the veteran. <laughs> How did you end up signing up for this? I'm following him. He's, he's <laughs> following his lead. Uh, it's just amazing seeing all of these interesting creative people who have this incredible skill, which I don't have yet, I'll <laughs> say. Um, and to be part of that experience, and, and it's such a non-judgmental space. Like, yeah. I wasn't expecting anybody to understand or to, to get this character. And I had quite a lot of people come up and just say, oh, money facts. Like, yes. How do you remember that? Deadpool. Yes. <laughs> just referring to um, a little bit earlier or not earlier, another day when you dressed up as Crash Bandicoot and apparently someone thought you were Deadpool. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, that's so, a bit of fun, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't always get people who know yeah. everything. And that's interesting. That's especially true of today. So with this anime festival, I am i don't know a lot about anime. Yeah. So oh, Exactly the same, but probably all more gaming orientated. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. And it's just like, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it looks exactly like what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I don't know if it does. But, but yeah, regardless, as you are saying, it's more about mm. you can express yourself. There's no judgment. Yeah. They know what you're doing. You yeah. Know? They yeah. know even if they don't know the medium or, or, or what you're expressing. I didn't realize it Spyro to begin with, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That is pretty creative and I love it. It's so cool. Thank I, you. Once you mention it, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm hitting myself. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's really cool that this is like a place where everyone yeah. comes around and just, this is me. Mm. You know, this is what I've watched, this is what I've played. And this is me. So, Mr. Moneybags, do you think you'll... Yeah. You'll be continuing your, uh, uh, your if career? Do, if I do another one, it's going to be without a monocle because this thing has fallen out. Every <laughs> few, I, I'm just waiting for it. Every time I nod, I can feel it just falling slightly further out. And it's just 
it's 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 all right right this second but <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sure and just going over again how long did it take you to do your uh, costume about three months and so how would you, how did you start that you know like this isn't obviously a pre-made design you've had to design this yourself exactly so how did you go about that entire process? Uh, so I did two main things. One uh, was to just Google Spyro cosplay, see what other people have done, but not rely on them too much. Um, in fact, most of that just came from, oh, what shape would this be or how would this attach or what would this look like with this added onto it. Most of the inspiration actually just came from revisiting clips of the Spyro gaze themselves and just getting a feel for the aesthetic and design that's mm. constant throughout the series. And then, so when you put the costume together, he, he had the, he, well, after he'd made the design, trying to actually make it work. So for example, having these floating shoulder pads is you know you you want it you, you can see it in your head but then how do you actually make yeah. it practical? Wow. So there's um, I don't know if you can see here camera so there's man coming in to level, take a closer look. There's an extra level underneath. Oh, you're bumping there. See your audio. But, oops. <laughs> but yeah, an extra level. Yeah, sorry. Continue. Yeah, and that keeps it elevated. And then uh, by attaching it all through to the front section, did you want to show that? Oh, did you want to say it, talk about it? or What part are we talking about? Oh, how just essentially attached. how everything attaches. Or okay, so you've got the, the chest plate here, a tiny elastic strap keeps the chest plate connected to the shoulder. Then on the back of the shoulder, it goes around my back like this. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, wow, that's a that's Pretty great, pretty crazy stuff. And is it pretty hard to get in and out of your yes. Yes. costume? <laughs> Can only guess. It takes nearly an hour, and I often need help. <laughs> and then tomorrow, it's going to be all of the all of the straps will be bruised and everything. Oh, oh yeah, like there'll be marks, bruises, body parts I can't move in a particular way for a week. Um, when you go home, people will be thinking you've come to it. You know, <laughs> Good I fight. thought you were doing cosplay, not bondage. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But you do you, you know? <laughs> God damn. But yeah, that's crazy. That's that's insane. Like all the like elements that you have to like like even just the claws. Like, did, did you use a like a program to, to model the designs first? No. Wow, just like just to make those and make them make two of them and make them symmetrical, you know, yeah. it's just ridiculous. Like how do you carve the shapes out? Um, so the material used for this actually starts in a sheet. So if you can trace out a shape in cardboard, you can replicate that shape when you cut out the plastic and the foam that's used mm -hmm. as a base. Um, mind you, but well, you know, when you're warping them, changing its shape, then it gets difficult to make it symmetrical. It really just comes down to persistence at that point. And then with all the off cuts, you kind of scrunch them into a ball and you can shape them. There it goes. And that's yeah. how you get the claws here and the bigger parts. Yeah, wow. Well. And have you helped out with the process of making any, any of your... I've watched. Oh, you've watched. <laughs> ah. Oh, I, I, um, I've, done, I've helped with some 3D printing. So oh, cool. So they're 3D printed, are yeah, they? Gems are, are your gems in that bag? Uh, some of them, that's is actually just a whole bunch of bottle taps. <laughs> Are um, you sure you're not from the Fallout series? Yes, I, whenever I went to a bar and it's just like, I need to collect some bottle caps. Be, <laughs> your cosplay, it wouldn't happen to be Fallout related. Like, not this one. Not this one. It's hilarious. <laughs> sorry, it's just clipping every time you hit the bag. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. Stop that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's, that's crazy. And so have you guys got planned out what your next cosplay is going to be? Um, I'm in the process of making a dress for Princess Zelda. Um, after that, I want to do a steampunk version of Ratchet from Ratchet & Clank. That'll be pretty interesting. I think so, and that'll be another design challenge in and of itself, but... You're going um, things with a, a duet kind of theme, you know? Zelda's yeah. got, got, got her Link, you know? Ratchet's got his, <laughs> got his Clank. Is this what you're going to be get? Clank? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was he looking at doing he, a Link. He should but... have a monocle Clank. He's oh, the God. type of guy to have one. Oh, if you're doing a not. steampunk clank, he's got to have that. Oh. Especially when he was a secret agent. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Another um, day of being blind. <laughs> well, I am going to help Anthony <coughs> with um, a particular version of Link from The Legend of Zelda called Vo Link. Oh, where when he has to yeah. disguise himself as a male Gerudo. Um, so that should pair very nicely with Zelda. 
Um, and uh, I've got another costume from The Legend of Zelda anyway, the villain, Ganon. Yep. Hey, we can fight. That'd Ooh. be pretty cool. So a lot of, lot of, not just cosplay, but a lot of cross-dressing going on as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, the, the majority of my costumes are female. Most <laughs> of my friends would consider it abnormal for me to appear as a male. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> hang on, you're, you're not a woman today. What's going on? <laughs> I, got, I bumped into some of my cosplay friends like in the street and um, there's been a few occasions where I'm like, oh wait, it's so weird seeing you outside of a dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome though. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> so you just have a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. It, uh, uh, back to what Anthony was saying about the community. I kind of took my first steps into cosplay and I realised I could do almost anything mm -hmm. and get away with it. What's the... What's don't, the worst? How how far have you pushed there. things? Um, <laughs> the worst might be... It, 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 it's probably going to have to be a really vague character from a game series called Infamous. Her name is Sasha. Okay. And the, the costume is... Body an, paint. A, oh, a, no. A leather jacket, unzipped, with a hood, and red underwear and my legs painted red and that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so, were, you, were your breasts on display? Um, yeah, well, not actual breasts, but I didn't go that no. far to prosthetics, but. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's that's hilarious. Wow. But, but when I say going far, I don't even mean like like just being naked, but just doing characters you wouldn't expect. No, expect people to do men it. to do. Mm -hmm. uh, well, especially men. Like uh, especially when, like for example, there's at least I know one of your cosplay. If you Google it, he's the only one who comes up. Oh yeah. So if you Google Courtney Gears cosplay, like you're uh, not the only male that's done Courtney Gears. Just the only I'm the only world, one in much. general. <laughs> uh, I'm yet to see anyone. Yeah, but me do Infamous, Infamous Second oh, no, Son. Is. That one's, is uh, so Infamous oh, Second Son that's, that's... was on PS4, oh, okay. and that's the third main game in the series. Oh, okay. Before that, on the PS3, you got Infamous and Infamous oh, okay. 2. Cool, gotcha. Um, but Sasha was only in the very first one. Yeah, and then Courtney. Courtney's Courtney from Ratchet Gears Clank. is from Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank, and she's... Man, I'm trying to think. I only know, what's the green dude's name? Captain Quark. Captain Quartz. Quartz? Quark. Quark. God. Man, it's been, it, hey, I, was, I was young when I played those games, mate. I missed out on the Ratchet and Clank Did games you? when I was younger. Yeah. Oh, were you um, more Nintendo or just... I think so, yeah. PlayStation as well, but I don't know, just that one slipped past. <laughs> That's hilarious. And so, I know you're getting forced into doing a lot of, <laughs> you know, partner cosplays. No, not so much. I've lost this again. When's, yeah. when's your... What, what are you going to pick? If you had to pick uh, something I've now... I've got a few ideas, got a few? but... I don't really have the skills to make them and it's... You've got a mate that can help oh, yeah. you out. <laughs> yes, he's extremely busy unfortunately. <laughs> no, but um, it's also I'm not... I'm still debating on which ones I want to do, which ones I want to yeah. focus on and I actually want to work on doing it myself. Mm. So it's just a combination of having the time to do it and having... Well, not just the skills, but commitment. also having the tools. Yeah. So, well, um, three month commitment right here. Three exactly. months commitment, and that goes into that not commitment. only planning, not only buying the materials. You know, like this, that isn't free to make. No. Yeah, that would have. That's uh, three months plus what? Around six hundred dollars. Wow. That's insane. Like that's, and that shows so much love. You know, you know what I'm wearing? Well, probably Kmart shit. You know. <laughs> What you're wearing, you're probably wearing quite a nice suit. <laughs> yeah, it's actually this shirt, this this jacket was, um, the delivery was like four times as much as the actual price of it. I was really upset oh, because no. it was really cheap <laughs> and I ended up spending like $45 on delivery. Oh. I mean, he did get a slight discount, I made the bag. Yes, the bag nice. So you can, what, what can't you make? So you, what, you not only, how did you get the print on that? Uh, that's painted on. That's painted on, you hand painted that, and then you sewed it together to make the bag as well? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You're a real handyman. So <laughs> good with like sewing, good with probably tools as well as yeah. I Some of them. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> Done some, um, yeah. Well, what Just tool everything. do you struggle with then? The sewing machine, actually. Sewing. Um, I consider sewing my weakness. Um, <laughs> Uh, like, like this, um, 
see it starting to come apart. Well, only on the underside, which is Where fortunate. Yeah, because it's been ripping against the Velcro. That's the all right. Leg, so. Do you use something you're more familiar with? Get the sickle out? I'm sure you can <laughs> fix that. Some other absurd. But yeah, if you had to pick one of those ideas you had, you had to pick one right now on the spot, who are you cosplaying next? I go with Link, one of the Links. Link. I, I, I still need oh, to decide then, yeah, which, which link? variation. Uh, it would have to be the Vo Link. The Vo Link. Yeah. So Vo Link, which? Um, it's, uh, it's it's from uh, Breath like, of the Wild. Oh, okay. And he has to disguise himself oh, as a male. Oh, that, so Gerudo. it's kind of a male like leather. I thought the Gerudos no, were in female race. Yeah, so there's few. most of them. Oh, okay. Few. Ganon's a Gerudo, isn't he? Yes. 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 <laughs> I haven't played the game. I see, oh, like, you know right. more than most. Oh, exactly. there you go. But yeah, okay, interesting. Hmm. So yeah, do the. So basically, you're just going to be another gap. Well, yeah, I'll be. I'll be. We'll we'll um, be able to verse each other for the real Gerudo title. <laughs> Who's going to dress up as Calamity Gavin though? G Ganon though. That's a bit. Yeah, I'll give that a try. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. And so listing off all the different things you've cosplayed. Okay. Um, and what was your first cosplay as well? My very first cosplay was Torna Bandicoot. So Crash Bandicoot's <laughs> I, girlfriend for the original game. That would have had some prosthetics, I'm assuming? Um, not originally. Uh, I, so I had a bit under a week to prepare for it. And I just got clothes from Big W and Kmart. A cheap wig from a party shop. Um, the boobage was <laughs> like tissues and a bra that I borrowed from my mother. <laughs> I, wait, I never, my monocle popped out when you said <laughs> Sprung. I'm sure a lot um, of kids running, you know, from the 90s age would have would have probably had their monocles sprung as, as well. Like, oh, well, Torna Bandicoot has never been by any means like the most astounding costume I've ever had, but I've always developed on it one yeah. way or another. So go, go, going from just doing it bare skin to... So you're still making changes to that costume still, today? Still, even four and a half years after wearing it, I'm still making modifications wow. to Torn Abandon. And so you're, you're talking about that's taken you four months. That hasn't taken three you months. Four, three months, sorry. But it's, it hasn't. Because you're probably still going to add a little bit. So you're going to yeah, probably exactly. fix it's up the fact. It's not finished. And yeah. that, well, that's, it's never technically finished because it's a design of my own. So yeah. if I feel the need to change something, yeah. remove something, add something, I can. Which to me is... That's kind of cool, you know, like the way, the way yeah. that you keep developing, you know, the one costume. You haven't just got one product, you chuck it out there. Yeah, exactly. You're like the um, the assholes that, <laughs> that are releasing games that aren't finished yet. <laughs> That's not a very good compliment, but no. <laughs> no. Well, no, it's no, I think it is cool. It's just no, it's no, getting it's expansion packs. Yeah, so yeah, no, that's definitely DLC. way of putting it. I'm just well, uh, I even want to add like fur to the undersides of yeah. the arms and the legs. Maybe that'll stop it. Ripping through yours, probably, uh, probably not, but yeah, that's that's it. Like, um, so obviously, yeah, it's Tawny, um, is so torn up, torn, torn, up, torn up, God, yeah, I haven't played the she, crash well, games in a while. Yeah, only the first game, actually, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, what was that? They replaced it with her sister, yes, Coach's sister, yeah, well, Coco. Maybe made too many fairies back in the day, and they're like. Maybe not. Actually, you're not far off from the actual reason as to why Torna Bandicoot was given the cam because after the first game, they were told that Torna Bandicoot had too much of a exquisite silhouette um, to be featured in a family's video game series. So it was either change her design or get rid of her. Well, everyone's had their Candy Kong or their, you know, growing up. Yeah, or, exactly. Um, mine was actually Princess Peach. Princess Pooch. Peach. Peach. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know what I'm referencing. Yeah, Princess Peach was your, was your first. Yeah. No, I don't know. Do you know if you're first? You don't know um, No, I don't really. Actually, what male video game characters do people fall for? <laughs> Video game characters. I mean, Cloud. <laughs> yeah, they would have been the big ones. Of Final Fantasy. Boys. Yeah. The big oh, man. I'm trying to think. Who is God? Link. Yeah, Link. Maybe. Oh, a waifu is obviously you know like a female. What's what's the male equivalent of a waifu? I don't know if they have a name. Maifu. Maifu. Fair enough. Male. Has <laughs> Sure, there's a. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Great interview, by the way. I'm like dying. Um, <laughs> thanks for death to, to pick me yesterday, you know? You always going to do some interviews. I was like, oh. screw you. You're going to get like absolute hit by the long dick of freaking, I don't know, it feels like cancer. I so, never. 
<laughs> Anyhow, I want to meet cancer now, just that now that you've painted it in that, <laughs> in that kind of picture. <laughs> You could do a cosplay for cancer. Just saying. That's pretty creative. Um, sorry, so like we went from... Well. Sorry, we went from Crash Furries to... Um, what was your second character? <laughs> um, after that was Cersei from Game of Thrones. So God, which Cersei Lannister. Cer oh, Cersei Lannister. Mm -hmm. Baldy Cersei or... Uh, long hair. So, so long hair, red dress, plenty of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I, I didn't. I didn't buy. Uh, what? No, I bought those. The first one I actually made was Midna from the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. Another uh, probably one to chuck in the the, the boat of a lot of people's. Especially mm. considering, so that in so for the first costume I ever made, I decided to embark on full body body paint. <laughs> um, because she's got like three different colors on her, and there's like markings and. <laughs> Man, so how'd you? How did you get that all painted? Did you do that yourself? Yeah. Well, in <laughs> a mirror, time, that's... Yeah. Man, Some of the makeup that it's had to do with... That's insane. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just give me one second. I'm just going to do a gross nose blow because I am dying. Yeah. Lord, please help me know. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. I'm sorry, God. I'm good. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. How does that... <laughs> Um, bloody, my, uh, what's it, Eric Andre, little tune go. Does anyone remember it? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Anyhow, we're right back. Okay, where were we? What were we talking about? You're talking about Midna. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so she was the first one I ever built from the ground up. And it's like, nowadays I kind of look at it and think, oh God, could be so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, sure it's pretty damn good for a first. Like, it's it's early. pretty yeah. damn good for an anyone. Yeah. Uh, and people still seem to like it, so yeah. I'm happy to keep wearing it. Yeah. As long as you... <laughs> the only problem is, like, trying to equip yourself with your... I guess, yeah. Put, put, put. Like, that's that's hard to put on, but, you know, it doesn't require any makeup, you know? No. <laughs> so, unless you are for judges. <laughs> <laughs> Different story. <laughs> um, so after that was a Dark Angel... With um, wings with hundreds and hundreds of feathers, real feathers. Wait, literally around 500 to 600 feathers had to be glued on. And so how did you come up with the design? Because the Dark Angel was... It was actually, it was inspired off someone that I followed off DeviantArt. Um, but after that, I, again, I just took it in a different direction, just kind of made it my own thing. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of the only costume I had that isn't really a character, but people yeah, you know, they still yeah. like it. They still like what they're seeing. And everyone has it. Like, they'll come up and say, oh, is that this character? And we're like, yes. sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I can be whatever you want me to be. Like, I don't know. <laughs> For a small fee. For a small fee. <laughs> so. <laughs> this isn't usually how people do interviews, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we had... Midna as well. Um, so yeah, Midna, and, the angel, and then the angel, and and who uh, was actually my first ever male costume. So the angel was. Yeah. So. Okay, so the angel was the first male like, one. Yeah. I had to go, made... go, go go through like five costumes before I got to a male one. It's kind of <laughs> interesting. Everyone like associates angels with like female. He was mostly naked. It was wings and the loincloth. cloth. Like it was not. What? Why anyway. is she? Like, <laughs> do you feel like getting naked? Is that? Like, uh, I am more or less known as the nudist of New South Wales cosplay. Um, whether I like it or not, I think I've earned that title. You've earned that title. No, it's... Own it. <laughs> yeah. Respect it. Yeah, even... It, this would have been about six months ago, met up with a bunch of cosplayers, uh, like not in costume, my friend outside party, and honestly someone just went up to me and said, oh, I'm not used to seeing you wearing clothes. <laughs> 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 I'm not used to seeing you with your clothes on. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice thing to say, you know? Yeah. Um, Take it as a compliment, I guess. And um, one time I was even, like, like, just pointing out about a costume that I was making, which was actually this one, was I was talking about the different ways that I would be covering up my body. It was just this way, you know, it's going to be like a full body armour kind of thing. <laughs> and, and I remember someone saying, who are you and what have you done with the real Wade? <laughs> I mean, you still managed to keep most of yourself uncovered. Yeah, true. Of the best was a 
that there's actually a video of me at Ironfest when I was doing the Sasha costume that I was talking about. And it, so I was like hula hooping like with this circus actor and there's someone in the background of the video and you actually hear her saying, every time I see you, there's less clothing and more body pain. <laughs> Oh god. So when's the day gonna come? You're just gonna be full poly body paint. Um I have been thinking about doing the cursed version of Midna and that would be nothing but helmet and underwear, so don't tempt fate there. Don't tempt fate <laughs> 2020. Oh no. Well it would be pretty damn cursed if it wasn't <laughs> At least you'll have underwear, yeah, we'll put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. What's the what's the worst you guys have seen though of other people? Have you ever been like, oh no, um, <laughs> there was a, a there was like a money go account. <laughs> there was like a muscular guy at Comic Con one year who was wearing nothing but a Pikachu beanie and yellow underwear. Um, cosplay one hundred and one. As long as it's vaguely pop culture yeah. reference. I reckon women seem to get away with it much more than yeah. yes, as well. Well, well, I think women do it a lot more. Like yeah. Wade gets away with it, so yeah. if, if guys wanted to, they could. Well, yes. well, that's actually the thing. Like, you get some people branding me as either like a, a nudist, a nudist cosplayer, or a sexy cosplayer. But I look around and I'm like, I'm the only one trying. If other people tried, they'd be able to do what I'm doing way better than than this. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like, oh, I win by default <laughs> because I'm the only one doing it. In nudie. Nudie. In the nudie category. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, I guess you found like a, a niche little group, you know, zero competition, you know. <laughs> So except for Pikachu, man. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, and like you get all the muscle bound guys, like doing the guy from Dragon Ball, um, or like there was this pretty exotic looking guy, like wearing like a shiny, um, what, what do you call them, the puffer jackets, and the waist went up to like here, <laughs> and I, like there were leather pants, and one leg went all the way down, oh, and the I other one that. went up here. Um, yeah. So it was there a testy on display almost? Or? Yeah. It was quite close, yes. <laughs> like you could have. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Lefty was there. sticking out. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Cosplay, guys. Cosplay. <laughs> yeah. Well, even you if you get take. All sorts. Even if you take something like my Crash Bandicoot costume. So most people would probably go with the bodysuit for that. Mm -hmm. Like, no, nah, I'm finding myself. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's hilarious. But he does have others, so. Um, for Halloween is you and you're going to wear it. Yeah, so I'm not always year. naked. So okay. for Halloween, the time that you should scare people. He went, well, this one he made a, a giant, bright pink cat suit, uh, well, um, Cat Peach. From Super Mario. Good damn it. Yes, and it was very large and very fluffy. <laughs> Man, that would have taken a lot of effort. Yes. Yes. Mm. I actually went with him for that one. That was my first cosplay. I, I did Bowser, but a male version. So it's Bowser with a turned into a, a female human, not Bowser, turned back into a male character. <laughs> so it's just kind of like That's, I don't know what's going on here. But so I, I think I think as a group it should be so two fucked up Princess Peach. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. That's hilarious. Uh, I'm sure you would have gotten a few chuckles out of a Bowser costume. Well, we, it was down in Lithgow, so there were. Um, it was an amazing place to to do any of those yeah. events. They're just so supportive down there, but. Um, not a lot of people recognise the, the outfit. Yeah. It was kind of. I saw a Bowser there today. Yeah, I, I, I talked to her. Yeah, yeah. I actually cool. saw her crown. I think I had the exact same crown. So. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hang on, excuse me for another yeah. gross moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, I think we'll start wrapping things up. Yeah. With, you know, you know how you like to leave things on a good note. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst shit that's happened to you? <laughs> Because anim uh, because of cosplay, you know. What's have oh. you ever had some people like? Not me personally. People? I haven't yet, but I've only done very basic cosplay. Yeah. So what about yourself? A bit more provocative. I've had. Let's. Y you do. I Sorry, let me start over. At least once a con, I'll have someone just looking at me like. What's what? going on? <laughs> okay, bye. Um. <laughs> but the weird a weird look is 
the worst you've ever got. You reckon? Uh, I've um, seen a few a few people question their sexuality. <laughs> you can see it behind yeah. there. <laughs> Let's see. I've been told off by a few children, especially one smartass who commented that I hadn't shaved my legs properly. <laughs> to which I said, like, "Hey, you're 12 years old. Wait until you get to my age. <laughs> it's not that easy." Um, I did once have an older guy actually go up to me in my Minda costume, mm. and they said. They actually just said to me, like, completely unprovoked, um, oh, are you here for, like, ugliest in show or something? Oh. Was he an attractive guy? Absolutely not. He had, like, three <laughs> teeth missing. Uh, or did he have three teeth left? <laughs> uh, well, he shouldn't have after that comment. Uh, <laughs> it was always, like, that guy when you were wearing Princess Peach, the cat head. <laughs> 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 Let's not go there. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that. That was not safe for children. Oh, not safe for children. All right. Then, um, I, okay, but the one that stands out to me is that I was in Ironfest as Cersei, so Game of Thrones, yep. and there was a guy in a wheelchair, uh, an electric one from a distance, from far away. And, um, well, like, he, he was just zooming along, and then he got to me, and then he stopped. And then he goes... Okay, from a distance, you look great. <laughs> oh. oh, that hurts. That's got to hurt. But you know what? Ultimately, I I think of my stories and then I think of the stories that other Cod's Place has to tell. And honestly, I think I got off easy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it shames me to hear... I hear quite a lot about people either dropping out or reducing their involvement in cosplay because of the community mm. involved. And I just find that hard to believe because uh, like the people that come here So what, been... the, the internal community or the, so the, the world here, around the them? Judge, so internet. other cosplayers. Yeah. So people leaving cosplay or reducing involvement in cosplay because of other cosplayers. Mm. Uh, which I just think is fundamentally broken because here you have some of the most like-minded, open-minded, well-meaning, expressive people that I've ever met. Um, and I seem to be able to get away with almost anything. Yeah. And then I hear about other people it's just trying to do what they want to do when and they can't. Own, own issues internally in their group. That's that's crazy. It's, it's sickening. So it, it's hard for me to answer what's the worst experience you've had in cosplay because ultimately I can't think of yeah. much. And then I hear about the horror stories my other friends have gotten involved in. And it's just, how is it that it's not happening to me, but it's happening to so many others? I just don't get it. Well, as I say, you know, you're either, you know, you're either having horrible things happen to you hmm. or you're making horrible things happen to others. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> probably <laughs> explains it. <laughs> you're the bully. <laughs> I, I'm not the bully. I, I'm not the bully. I'm just hard to handle. <laughs> no, you, you guys are really, really cool people. Well, Anthony is happy to show people photos of me, but he does feel the need to warn them first. Yeah, it's just like here's his costume, but yeah, before yeah. you see it, yeah. just know there's a lot of body paint <laughs> and not a lot, not a lot else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. Do you guys have anything else you want to get off your chest quickly? Or I'm good. I'm good. You good? You're so good. we done. Yeah, well, I think lovely so. meeting you, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Keep up with the cosplay. Um, hopefully, I'll bump into uh, a link and a. <laughs> God, what were you doing yeah, next? Yeah, You're doing Zelda. Zelda again, maybe. You reckon? Yeah, probably Link and Zelda. No Sounds about right. Yeah, I think mine is going to take a lot longer than his, though. So. <laughs> oh, uh, just as a concluding comment, uh, let me awaken your dragon. <laughs> That's a good comment to conclude on. Anyhow, thank like, you so much. Uh, mine brings more than just fire. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> this is edgy. Um, anyhow, <laughs> on that note, you know, I'm sure you want to tie your social present presence to that. What was your Instagram and Facebook? Uh, Embrace Cosplay, both on Facebook and Instagram. And I when we have, have one yet, so. if you do, just PM us and we'll, we'll like tag it down there. <laughs> sure. So we'll have to change it to Embrace Cosplay and Friends. And Friends. <laughs> <laughs> friends. Apparently. <laughs> well, I can't go Embrace Cosplay and Boyfriends. Well, boyfriend would be more happy. <laughs> anyway. but, but when have you heard anything and Boyfriend? <laughs> no, that's a fair <laughs> point. <laughs> it's so brutal though. It's, it really it's just like, it's the lead singer, everyone else, they're just, just friends. Yeah. You just chuck yeah. them to the side. <laughs> 
Make your own page. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, 